know what? I thought the same thing for a long time, but now I think if he hadn't proposed, I would have gone with my parents and yelled, Dad, look out for that beaver! And my mom would still be alive. And we'd go to see Niagara Falls, and maybe I might have met a different man, the one I was meant to be with, instead of that two-faced deviant that I married. Oh, I lost track of the road signs. Oh, well, that was getting tiresome. Do you want to play punch buggy? I'm just excited for all the things I'm going to do. Is this a conversation? Because if it is, I'd really like to check it off. I had this list of things in my life that I wanted to do. And when I married Kip, I just put it away. <laughs> P.S. Big mistake. Here it is. 48. Strike up a conversation with a stranger. I've never done that. My mom would always say, don't talk to strangers, Cass. Don't talk to strangers. So I never did. Now I don't have any friends. Number one, find your soulmate. Ooh, ignore that check mark. That one's a do-over. Huh. Two, learn Swedish, followed by wear a large wig and drive across country. <sighs> I haven't driven in seven years. Kip didn't want me to bang up his Volvo. Hmm. Then we have a baby, wear overalls, go parachuting. Oh, I always wanted to get married while skydiving. And Kip just thought that that was insane. So we had a church service instead. Our song was Close to You by the Carpenters. So sad. Hmm. Eat venison, become friends with a clown. Kip's afraid of clowns, so. Visit a prison and witness an execution by lethal injection. <laughs> now that's a long-term goal. 